Trader role is extremely profitable in Red Dead Online, especially with double payouts. But there is a problem. Trader role only brings you good money after you will reach level 10 in this role. And reaching level 10 in trader role might take a lot of time because leveling up this role, especially on the first five levels, is pretty slow. But there is a method that will allow you to level up trader role seven to eight times faster than usual. And today we're gonna talk about this method. First of all, let me explain basics. For each level, you should earn 2000 trader role experience points. By the way, sometimes there are double payouts for trader role for money and experience, but usually it doesn't include trader role experience, only regular experience like here. Anyway, main ways of earning trader role experience are donating materials to creeps, which includes animal pelts, carcasses and different parts. And usually it makes sense to give some valuable materials to creeps, like for example, free star Bako cougar carcasses. But when you level an up trader role, it makes sense to give creeps cheap materials, like bird feather or alligator tooth, because you can give a lot and you still receive five experience points per each. It's not gonna make a big difference, to be honest, because it's definitely not the main way of earning trader role experience. Second, then much more consistent way of receiving trader role experience is to complete resupply missions. Every time Creeps will produce 25 goods, which will take 50 minutes in real life time, he will run out of supplies and will send you a message. And here you will have an option to order supplies or to start resupply mission. Never order supplies when you level in up trader role. And not only because it will cost you 20 bucks, which might be a lot for beginners, but because if you will complete such mission, you will receive material supplies and additionally 500 experience points. If you will order supplies, you will also receive materials and supplies, but no experience at all. By the way, there is a small trick that you can use after you will level up trader role. So you can order supplies and instead of waiting 10 minutes until these supplies will be delivered, just open menu, go to online and switch lobby. When you will appear in a new lobby, supplies will be delivered, you will also receive materials and your production will keep going. It will help you to save a lot of time, but I repeat, do this trick only after you will reach at least level 10 in a trader role. Anyway, before we gonna talk about the main way of earning trader role experience, there are a few things that I have to mention. You also will be earning trader role experience by unlocking different awards. On each stage of an award you will be getting some experience, but I don't suggest you to chase these awards, you know, to complete them on purpose. Just, you know, do your usual stuff and occasionally you will receive this bonus. Also, there are free ROM events for a trader role and this one I actually suggest you to complete. It's called Trade Road, where you will have to protect a train from bandits. It's not only fun, but also for completing it, you will earn some gold, money and the most importantly 500 trader role experience points and 18 goods for your production. And obviously, don't forget about about daily challenges for trader role. Completing each will bring you 200 experience points. Now, the main way of earning trader role experience points is to complete deliveries. On first levels, you will have only small delivery wagon that can carry 25 goods maximum. And for local delivery, short distance delivery, you're gonna be earning 200 experience points. And for long distance delivery, you're gonna be earning 25% more money and experience, which will be 200 than 50 trader role experience points, but I don't suggest you to make long distance deliveries when you level in up trader role. It's just not worth to spend this extra time. Now, if you're playing in a way that game tells you and waiting until you will have a full wagon to make a delivery to earn maximum money, you will be making only one small wagon delivery per hour because it took 50 minutes to produce 25 goods plus 5 minutes for delivery itself plus 5 5 minutes for resupply mission. So you will be earning only 700 trader role experience points per hour plus some experience from materials, not much, and it will take like forever to reach level 10 in trader role and start earning real money. But instead you can earn 5.5 thousand trader role experience points per hour plus experience from materials. The trick is, you earn exactly the same amount of trader role experience for delivering full trader wagon 
or almost empty one, because it doesn't matter how much goods you have in your wagon when you're making a delivery, you still will earn exactly the same amount of experience. Yes, you will lose some money this way, but you will earn this money back extremely fast after you will reach level 10 and will purchase a big trader wagon. But the method is not only to deliver empty trader wagons, you actually have to place your camp properly, because one specific location allows you to make 25 deliveries per hour and earn 5000 experience points for your trader all only from deliveries. So open left menu, go to camp and properties, choose camp, then go to size and location, small camp and then choose gap to reach. It will cost you $2 to place your camp. Then in every town you can go to a travel post and just teleport to your camp. Now really important thing. Your camp can be placed in a northern part of Gap Tooth Reach, you know, around Tumbleweed, or in a southern part. And you want to have a camp in a southern part, right here. Because if your camp will be closer to Tumbleweed, each delivery will take more time on average. There will be deliveries to Armadillo, and yes, you can fast travel back, but still, it will take much more time. Anyway, if you will find your camp in not an optimal place, you should try to relocate it to do it right to location where you want your camp to be placed and from there place your camp in some different location doesn't matter which one and immediately after that again choose gap to reach actually here i placed camp in the best possible location later you will see why if all good camp location will be taken by other traders consider changing the lobby yes you might waste extra five minutes on this stage but don't worry if your camp will be in optimal location you will save much more time in the future. Now, when you will have a camp in an optimal place, just do short distance deliveries one by one. There are only two possible destinations in this area, Benedict Point and Scratching Post. And take a look how long delivery to Scratching Post takes if you will place a camp in the best possible spot. In any way, on average, it will take only 2 minutes per each delivery. By the way, there are two different types of delivery missions. In first, you deliver your wagon and fight bandits there waiting you at destination point. And in second, bandits are attacking you while you are on your way. But in this area, deliveries are so short that bandits will never appear, the ones that should follow you. Additionally, resupply mission will always be to steal a van from competitors. It's the best type of resupply mission, it can be done extremely fast and it grants you 20 materials for your production. And speaking about materials, on your way back to the camp after deliveries, time to time hunt some three-star animal and donate it to creeps and you will be fine. Anyway, by following this method in less than two hours you will reach level 5 in your trader role. And here you might switch to, you know, more or less regular method of leveling up, purchase middle wagon and make full deliveries to earn some money because now with middle wagon for a full delivery if you have more than 26 goods you will be earning 1000 trader experience points for local delivery and 1250 points for long distance delivery and some good money or you might continue you know leveling up with this method until you will reach level 10 will purchase a big wagon wagon and there you will start making real money. $500 for a full local delivery and $625 for a long distance deliveries. Yes, I suggest you to make long distance deliveries only after you will level up trader role at least to level 10. Anyway, now you know how to level up trader role really fast and start making some good money. If you're interested in any other tips for beginners, I suggest you to watch my full step-by-step -step solo beginner's guide for Red Dead Online that you see on your screen now. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye.